Hi, hello, welcome to this week's, um, angelic reading, and I hope everyone had a nice Easter over the weekend, and let's continue with the blessings that we received, because I know we definitely have new blessings today than what we had yesterday, and it shall be like that every day, um, because every day is different, so we should always think that we have enough in our lives, because we do. And I hope that this reading here can help you with what you want to do for this week and maybe even during this month. So let's start. I'm going to use the tarot. Um, well, it's not necessarily the tarot, but this deck of angel cards. And um, let's see what the angels have to say for us or say to us for this week. Hmm. Let's see. It's a really beautiful card. And it's an amazing angel, as you can see right there. And this angel says, Release and surrender. It says, um, We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you, you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms, and heart to our love and assistance. So as I just mentioned earlier, you know, we have blessings every day. Because every day is a new day. And for this week, you can see the angels are telling us to release and surrender that what we are scared of. You know, maybe there's a situation within our family, within our close ties that want us to feel afraid and trapped and I just want you to know the angels are saying it's okay for you to let it go you know maybe focus on what you wish to happen versus what you think is really happening but when you think of what you wish to happen you know don't relate it to the negativity that's already around you you know you should relate it to the positive outcomes that you want to happen and it could be even with personal relationships. It could even be um, a situation that makes you feel like it's not your best. And you know it's not your best, but, you know, you're stuck there. Emotionally, maybe it's just emotions coming from everywhere. The angels say, release and surrender. You know, this week, give us those problems and just then move on. You know, and like I said, if you wish to focus on it, focus on the positive outcomes. Like, what is it that you could take from it and say, oh, I feel good about this. I learned something new. I have a new perspective. Maybe I have time now to focus on other things that have been waiting for me. Um, maybe it's time for me to, like, redo myself, redo my personal surroundings, my closet, my room, my goals, my desires. So please release and surrender. You're going to be okay this week. And the other card for this week, for the second part of our week, towards kind of like the weekend, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And we've got this really other be beautiful card, which is Sign from Above. And it's really a gorgeous card. And this angel says, well, actually, she is a guardian angel. So this is a message from our specific guardian angel. And it says, sign from above. All right. So we're going to get a really good sign that we are okay. okay. That we are going to make the right decisions for ourselves. And maybe you've been wanting a sign from God, from Maybe your loved ones that have passed on. Maybe they are trying to reach out to you and you don't know how to listen. As well as your guardian angel. They're from up above and they're still with you and they want to give you the right answers. Or maybe they just want to, they want you to know that you're not alone. So this, I feel this card says we're not alone. Especially during our weekend. Let's be careful what we see because this could be a really beautiful sign from up above as the card says that shows that 
we're cared for, that we're being looked after, that, you know, we do have the support. And then I also would invite you to do this, you know, small little session, which is, you know, just sit down and talk to your guardian angel, say, I need a sign. You know, maybe you're in a crossroads. Maybe you just want to know that you can have such divine communication with your guardian angel and with God. So you just tell them during that session, give me a sign. And the key is not to ask for a specific sign. That's not how they work. The way they work is that they give you a sign that you're not going to be expecting. I guess the unexpectedness of what it is is what causes you to really look at it and say, wow. It, it almost can give you goosebumps. So it looks like we have a wonderful week. The angels here are really trying to communicate with us this week, so be open to it. Okay, and I hope everyone has a beautiful, loving, healing week. And just realize that a new month is coming. You know, May is around the corner. Not to pressure you guys, but, you know, enjoy what you're doing now and know that it's valuable. So that way when the new month comes, you can continue doing the work that you're here for. Because believe me, you are here for a purpose. So thank you for joining me this week. And if you really need to um, have a session with me, which, you know, I love having sessions with, with the people that I meet, um, you could go to my website, um, angelictarot.net. And I'm also on Facebook. So please be part of my community. And um, have a nice week. Bye-bye.